It seemed like you had you know, pretty good on-court chemistry with, with Jackson. What do, you, what do you like about playing with, with him? Uh, Jax, he a good shooter. So, I mean, I just be trying to find him, get him going early, because I know, like, the defense go collapse when I drive, so just try to find him early. JD, I, I think everyone that we've talked to so far in the preseason has talked about uh, how good of an offseason you had and, and the way you dedicated yourself. Could, could you just talk a little bit about what you emphasize over the offseason and, and where you think you've made the most improvements? Uh, just in the weight room, I felt like I needed to get stronger and get my legs under me a little bit more. So I took my time this summer and got in the weight room three to four times a day. And I feel like it's, it's paying off. And you might not see it now, but it's gonna pay off. Well, um, I guess for, for both guys, well, first, JD, um, you gotta say a pretty complete game score and assist, four steals. Well, what did you think of your game today? I know you're not playing Kentucky. What did you think of the game? Uh, I was just trying to go out there and have fun and enjoy it. Uh, just being in Bar Hill, it's a special opportunity. So I just wanted to go out there and have fun and just play with my team. Yeah, you're used to coming off the bench, but what, what was it like to, to start? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it felt good for sure. Did you want to be a six man again this year? Or I mean, or whatever, whatever. whatever the team need me to do, I'm going to be that guy to just do what I need to do. And if that's coming off the bench or starting, I just got to do what I got to do. Stanley, you had 16, 11, and five assists too. What, how did it feel to, I guess, get out there? What did you feel like you did wrong? Yeah, no, it felt, it felt good. I think we I think we played well. We all played pretty hard. Um, yeah, no, it just felt good. I mean, we've been playing with each other this whole time. We've been waiting on this. So it just felt good to be out there with some fans and whatnot, get us going. As far as today's game, you had like a 13 nothing start, and then the White kind of did about the same thing from the finish. Just kind of what do you attribute that? Uh, I don't know. Just a game of runs, you know. Uh, we weren't really playing too consistent. I said the red team kind of kind of started lagging there in, in the, at the end of the first half. So we just got to clean that up. But, I mean, they played well. I mean, J.D. made some tough shots, and Jack got, got hot. So, so you would, because, like, you know, obviously you didn't, Nobody scored when you're down 13 nothing, and then you you know, get a big flurry of points. Kind of what turns it around? Uh, we knew we had the better shooting team, <laughs> so we just had to get going a little bit. Uh, I feel like Red came out and they executed their game plan a little bit, but I feel like we 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 came out a little sloppy, but uh, we got it going a little bit. Stanley, I know you played a million games and you played a game here in Walton, but. What was it like being in uh, Barn Hill and having, you know, I don't, I don't know what they call the crowd. It's a pretty good crowd. What, what was it like for you? It was, it was good. It was, it was exciting, you know, coming pulling up to the game and seeing, you know, two lines of people coming into the game. Well, now I'm not used to that. So it feels good, you know, it gets you going. It gets you excited to play, and especially playing with these guys, you know, it's, it's real fun. J.D., I think Eric said the other day that, like, I mean, you guys do the regular weightlifting, but then you do more weightlifting on top of that. I mean, a lot of guys, they, the regular is more than, <laughs> for example, why do you do the extras and physically, how do you how do you handle all that? Uh, I just got used to it. And that's something I wanted to dedicate my uh, body to doing. And I just feel like that's what I did it. So I just did it. Do you primarily work out with one of the GAs? Yeah. Who, who is it? Uh, Trey Smith. Trey Smith. Does he like spot, make sure you don't drop a weight or on the <laughs> neck or something? No, he, actually, he? he actually work out with me. He do it with me. So I follow for that. I think, I'm thankful for Trey. Uh, we get in there every day. He don't complain. And I just thank thankful for him for doing that for me. So he's just your workout partner. You know? Yep. Stanley, I guess getting to know JD, what, what do you think about his weightlifting stuff and just his, his game and everything? It, it shows for sure. Like, it, I mean, it's crazy how he's able. He every day he don't miss a day. He's in there working, doing, and it's not regular lifts that he's doing. He's doing some like, he's doing some crazy stuff in there. So, I mean, it, it shows, and 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 it just shows. It's a culture thing for real too. Like, how hard it, how hard you got to work to to get what you want. I mean, everybody's got their own ways of of, of putting in their work, and you know, everybody's doing their part, and he's for sure doing his part too. I guess for, for both of you guys, I mean, it's been several months now that you've been beating up on each other at, at practice every day. 
Uh, do you ever get tired of that? And then I guess how excited are you to, to line up against somebody else next weekend? I would say we get tired, but like where we want to be is like it got to take that. Like every day we got to get better. Each day we got to come in. Even if we tired, we got to still go hard. Because uh, like last year we kind of, we was there, but like we didn't really think like, oh, we could make it this far. Like now that we've been there and seen it, now we got to implement it to the new guys. Like, hey, this is what we got to do. So, I mean, like every each and every day we got to come in and work. Coach said that Jalen and Debo have done a pretty good job to this point of leading with their voices as, as sophomores. What have y'all seen from them there in, in that regard? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jalen don't stop talking. I mean, sometimes I mean I wouldn't say it's annoying. Sometimes you know we need it, but like Jalen don't stop talking. He's always talking, loud voice. So, I mean, it, it's it's good. It's good coming in. Like I'm I'm a fifth year guy. I'm still gonna listen to whatever they got to tell me, and, and, and vice versa. And that's it's just how we gonna buy in, and and we need those vocal leaders because you know they've been here, they've been through it. So we need them to keep keep doing that. Can you hear something in particular, Jalen says. Nah, nah. He just talk. He just talks. He just always gonna. He's always gonna be talking to us. Always gonna be keep getting getting us going for sure. For both of you, I think Coach was just in here saying that shot selection is still a little bit of a work in progress for y'all. What are those conversations like in practice, and how do y'all feel like y'all are improving in that area? Uh, I mean, we work on our game, so I feel like we know what shots we can take. Uh, each. It, each and everybody be in there working. So it's not like a bad shot, I wouldn't say that, but like it's just timing and scoring in the game. I feel like we gotta uh, kind of clean that up in it. But like bad shots, I feel like everybody work on their craft. So I feel like take the shots that you work on. Mm -hmm. I guess speaking of shot selection, JD, you, you threw yourself a, a lob and had the window there. And you know, it was an exhibition having a little bit of fun, but uh, it takes a lot of confidence to, to do something like that. It, were you able to do that before all the hard work this summer? And did you did you have a plan when you got on the break there? Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to windmill or go between the legs. <laughs> so I kind of, I, I didn't know. But like the weight room definitely gave me a little bit more confidence in my legs to even try that. So I mean, yeah. JD, you obviously were improving your defense and your playing make at the end of last year. But you know, and I know this is red white, but you, know, you just didn't score. You had a lot of assists. You had a lot of steals. How, how do you feel like your all-around game has continued to improve? I feel like I can affect the game in multiple ways, just not scoring. I feel like I can get this team going defensively, or I could get them going by just making plays, just making a simple play, just kicking out to the open teammates. And I feel like that's what we need. I think it was in the first half, you took a pretty deep three, which I, I know you, you do that. You're good. Eric looked pretty ticked off. And there was a timeout, and he didn't come back. And did he say something to you like, hey, I know you're good, but don't take that shot? Did he say anything to you about that? Uh, he was just like, move the ball. It was early in the shot clock, and we, we was down, I think, trying to get a little more momentum. Uh, so I feel him. Just swing it a little bit, then let it come back to me. Then I could uh, do what I do. So I understand where he came from. Yeah, well, you, you've been around enough to know kind of how to – yeah, I've been with him for three years, so I mean, I, I already know our, I already know our relationship, and so I mean, he go get on me. I just gotta take it, don't let it affect me, and just keep going. Yeah, it looked like you didn't, you know, play well. And I, I got one more for both of you guys. What, 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 what do you thought of uh, Jackson Robinson's game? You know, how he's done in practice, and what do you guys think about what he did today? Yeah, Jack, Jack's real solid. I mean, he's just he's gonna do what you ask him to do. He's always gonna be in the right spot. And, and he can really shoot it. So, I mean, I love playing with Jax, and I think he's got a bright future for sure. And he's young, and he just got all the tools you need. You need. So, I really like him. He's a good weapon. I just had one more for Sam. I think the last time we talked to you, you mentioned as a freshman, you were like pulling out stools on the floor during timeouts and stuff to, I guess, to get to where you are now. So, I guess, what's that, that path, that journey been like for you? It's been, I mean, it hasn't been easy. I mean, but it's just, I always saw the bigger picture. I never really got too, too down on myself. I always believed in myself, even if I wasn't, you know, playing particularly as much as I wanted to. So it was just knowing that I was going to believe in myself and just waiting my turn until, you know, until my time came and, and, and just, 
just working every day and just knowing that the work's gonna pay off. So I think that's just the biggest thing for me. All right, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.